Hi, my name is Gavin Minnis, and today I'm going to share a few of my favorite trading strategies with you. We'll start with two popular trading strategies, the news fade and the inside day breakout play. And then for those of you who are more familiar with charts, we'll finish up with a strategy that incorporates a few basic technical indicators. Let's get started with the news fade strategy. When a news event is released, there is often a lot of irrational market movement. For example, this large spike occurred in the euro dollar immediately following the release of non-farm payrolls, or NFP. NFP is a measure of the number of people employed in all activities except agriculture. It is released on the first Friday of the month and is historically the most market moving news event for the dollar. Now what we are looking for with this strategy is the correction. If we look closely at the price action about 15 minutes after the news event, we can see that the price begins to move back to previously traded levels. Take a look at the price action here after the release of the United Kingdom's CPI numbers. There was a spike of about 80 pips and about 15 minutes later the price action begins to revert back to previous levels. Here's the price action after German GDP numbers. Once again, there's a spike of about 45 pips and then about 15 minutes later the price corrects back to previous levels. There are countless examples of this occurring and I'm going to show you my way of trading it. First I need to locate a market moving news event. This can be done by visiting the global economic calendar on dailyfx.com and looking for any events rated as high. Then I'm going to watch for a substantial market move following the news event. Now the critical step in this strategy is timing. We want to wait 15 minutes before we do anything. After 15 minutes have passed, we're going to trade in the opposite direction of the recent price action in anticipation that the price should revert back to previous levels. We want to set a take profit around the price levels previously traded and a stop just outside the most recent high or low that was made after the news event came out. Placing a stop to limit potential losses is very important as there's always a chance that the price action will continue in the initial direction of the move. Let's now look at how we can use this strategy after a news event like NFP. After looking at the global economic calendar, I can see that NFP comes out at 1330 GMT on November the 7th. If we pull up a euro dollar chart for that time, we can see that the euro dollar spiked up about 64 pips after that release. If we had implemented our strategy by waiting 15 minutes and then selling here around a price of 1.2820, sure enough the price reverted back to the mean and we could have closed out our trade around 1.2780 for a profit of 40 pips. On this strategy, we probably would have set our stop just above this high, probably around 1.2835, so even if the price action continued in an upward direction, we would have been stopped out for a loss of only 15 pips. That's a pretty good trade. We risked 15 pips for the potential to make 40 pips or more. Please keep in mind that using this strategy and others in this webinar do not guarantee profits, as market conditions could vary and currency trading involves substantial risk of loss and may not be suitable to all investors. Our next strategy is the inside day breakout play. We're going to look for a particular candlestick pattern on this one. We want to locate a daily candle whose high and low price are contained within the high and low of the previous day's candle. It should look like this. You can see that the high and low of this candle never goes beyond the high and low of this candle, which directly precedes it. When this candlestick pattern emerges, traders will look to buy one pip above the high of this candle or to sell one pip below the low of this candle in expectation that the price will break out of the previous high and low. The strategy becomes even more reliable when you have two or more candlesticks that establish this condition. Here are two consecutive candles that meet this condition. And here are three consecutive candles that meet this condition. To see how this strategy can be applied, let's take a look at the inside day breakout play I traded a few months back on the dollar yen. I began watching this chart after locating the following two candles. I became even more interested after this candle formed as I now had two candles that fell within the high and low of the previous day. And even better, a third candle met the condition I was looking for. At this point, I placed an entry order to buy here, one pip above this high and an entry order to sell here, one pip below this low. I wasn't sure which direction the pair would break, up or down, so I prepared for either scenario. And good thing I did. The dollar yen did break out. 
My buy entry order triggered at 96.30 and I ended up closing out around 98.0 for about 170 pip gain. I think this is a really reliable strategy, but it doesn't happen all that often. You have to be patient and wait for the trade to set up properly. And remember, the more and more consecutive candles you have that stay inside the previous daily candle, the more and more effective the strategy becomes. Now let's take a look at our last strategy. In my opinion, this strategy works best on currency pairs that are trending. For this example, we're going to pull up a 2-hour pound dollar chart and apply two technical indicators, a 200 period simple moving average, which is added to help me locate the direction of the trend, and a MACD, which is designed to identify trend changes. If the price action is above the 200 period moving average, like it is here, the pair is currently in an uptrend. If the price action is below the 200 period moving average, like it is here, the pair is currently in a downtrend. That's really the only purpose of the moving average indicator in this strategy. Most of the time, we'll be focusing on the MACD indicator, which will provide us with our buy and sell signals. Here's an outline of what we will look for with the MACD indicator. If the pair is in an uptrend, we want to look for buying opportunities. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, we'll buy. We'll then hold the trade until the MACD line crosses back below the signal line, at which time we can close out the trade. If the pair is in a downtrend, we want to look for selling opportunities. When the MACD line crosses below the signal line, we'll sell. We'll hold the trade until the MACD line crosses back above the signal line, at which time we close out. Pretty simple, isn't it? Let's look at a few examples of how to specifically use this strategy. You can see here that the price action is currently below the 200 period simple moving average, so we know the pound dollar is currently in a downtrend, so we want to look for selling opportunities. Okay, here's the perfect example of where the MACD line crosses below the signal line, giving us a signal to sell. Let's go ahead and enter here at a price of roughly 1.4650. Now moving forward, things are looking pretty good. And right here, the MACD line crosses back below the signal line. We can close out our trade here at about 1.3960 and take a profit of about 690 pips. Okay, here's another one. We can sell here at this cross and wait for this cross to get us out of the trade. Once again, a nice trade with a profit of about 280 pips. Now applying this strategy in the same manner as I've described does not guarantee profits, but I think many of you will find this to be a good strategy to experiment with. I feel that the strategies that we've discussed today are relatively easy to understand and to implement. But keep in mind, no strategy is perfect or will work every time. Make sure to practice and test these strategies out on a demo account to make sure you're comfortable using them. Also, if you'd like to know how to take these strategies to the next level, or if you simply need further assistance on how to understand these or other strategies that you're working on, I recommend pursuing one of the following options. By visiting the following link, you can visit with an FXCM specialist and other traders at our online trading forums. This is a great way to get additional feedback and recommendations on what you're currently working on. Another option that I highly recommend is participating in FXCM's 8-day Intensive FX Power Course. This is a great way to jumpstart your education. And for the amount of information that is covered in this course, the price, $19.99, is well worth it. To learn more, please visit our course homepage. I hope this presentation has been helpful, and good luck with your trading.